Good morning. I am in Mango Halto Beach in Savaneta. And today we're going snorkeling. And what I want to do is I want to show you how to get to the Capel shipwreck. So that's the, the blue stairs. And that's if you're facing the ocean to the right of where the mangroves are. There's our yellow buoy. So if you notice this white area, that's all very shallow. And if you can swim out to there, you can actually stand up there. And then right where it turns darkest blue, it's a deep bowl and it drops down to about 50 feet. And if you head straight towards that yellow buoy, you're gonna pass over another very tiny buoy and that's what marks the wreck where you see all the waves breaking that marks the line of the barrier reef so anywhere all along there up until the yellow buoy at that distance you're gonna get some pretty good snorkeling on the inside of the reef right over here there's another little white strip of sand and that actually will lead you out to a cut through the reef and you can snorkel outside of the reef. Thank you. 
Okay, so I uh, just wanted to uh, point out a few things uh, about the places that we went snorkeling on this trip. Uh, you can see behind me is the mangrove, the main mangrove, the entry point uh, for swimming. And I'll, we'll do a walk down there and I'll show you close up uh, where to go if you want to enter through the mangroves, if you want to head out to the snorkel. Uh, on this trip, we entered actually at these blue stairs uh, since, we were, uh, since we were staying in the place immediately uh, in front of those blue stairs. And it's actually a pretty easy entry point. Nice sandy bottom over here uh, so you can stand up and put your fins on without any difficulty. Now mind you, if you are snorkeling, this area does have a pretty strong current. So you need to be a strong swimmer and always, I can't say this enough, always swim with a buddy. You cannot do this type of uh, snorkeling alone. Don't go outside the reef by yourself. Too much current and you wanna make sure there's someone looking out for you. And the boats. Uh, out by the buoy, that yellow buoy behind me, that is the buoy that marks where the boats can cut through the reef. So you do have to be very careful if you swim close to that buoy. Use a dive flag if you have one. Always swim with a buddy, okay? So we're gonna walk down to the mangroves. You can see uh, even before you get to the main beach, there's another set of stairs that you can walk down. Nice sandy bottom here that you can just jump in. And they do have a few palapas and picnic tables here on, this, on the side of the road. And you can see there's a platform for sunbathing and for entering into the water just to the side of the mangroves. So we're just gonna walk down now the path all the way to the actual beach, okay? This is where the true Mongol Halto Beach is. Immediately after you come down this little boardwalk into the mangroves, on the right is a sandy entry point. This is typically where all the kayaks uh, for the kayak tours are staged, so Go a little bit further. Four brand new giant palapas, which can accommodate a number of people here. So if you do want to come down here and you need some shade, you know, claim a spot here. They have tabletops and nice places for you to store all of your uh, towels and uh, coolers and things or you can just find a nice spot in the mangroves. So here is the second entry point. And we're gonna walk down in there. Now this is the best spot to, uh, to get in the water. So if you go in the water here, it's gonna be nice and sandy. So no rocks to worry about. And that goes out a good, maybe a hundred yards, nice sandy bottom. And the water stays pretty much waist to shoulder deep. And although you do see some waves breaking in this area, typically it's pretty calm and glassy. Uh, this week it's been unusually uh, rough. So that's the second entrance point that I was talking about. Sandy bottom, you can see they're a good distance in and still only waist deep. All right, we're gonna walk down to the end of the beach now and I'll show you the main beach. Here is Mongol Halto Beach. I hope you guys can hear me because the wind is really strong. And it looks like they have uh, dug out a nice sandy patch for people to come and swim. But to be honest with you, I don't recommend swimming here. Go to the mangrove entrance that I showed you earlier. That is a much easier way to get in the water and it's much calmer water over there. You can see all these brand new palapas just recently constructed in perfect shape. It 
check it out. I'm at the very end of Mongolhalto Beach. It's about 10 in the morning. Empty. Beautiful. All these free palapas. So if you guys are, you know, playing the palapa game and you and you really want to go to a beach where you can get one, get here in the mid-morning and you should be fine to secure a spot easily. So this is why this is not a good place to go swimming. It's just like this all the way out. I mean, you can, it's only a few inches of water. And if you have some nice strong soled uh, water shoes, you could probably walk out all the way to the reef from here. But you really can't do a lot of swimming here. It's a little too shallow and too rocky. So you're not gonna go very far. Lots of shade in case you can't get a palapa. You can always put your stuff in the mangroves and it's perfectly fine. Definitely worth getting here a little early. You can secure a nice spot. Plus, in the morning, the water tends to be a bit calmer than the afternoon before the wind really starts to pick up. Did I mention always swing with a buddy? That's one rule you should not uh, forget. Take that away from this video. <laughs> Make sure you check out our other video at Mongol Halto, as well as some of the other Aruba videos. And let us know if there's anywhere else in Aruba that you want us to check out. Let us know in the comments. See you guys later.